it's your girl Taurus Takeover here to do a what does your soul need to hear for my Leos born in the month of August. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you have already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me today. So we're just going to get right into it, you guys. The overall energy and what your soul needs to hear, Leo, is that you need to relinquish control. Mm. Identify one person you feel the need to control and think about why that person is so essential to you. What do you fear if your hold is released? Your goal is to recognize how much stress is generated in your body through the need to control someone else. So this is the time that you need to be, uh, what my mom would say, cutting those apron strings. Okay, so you may feel like you want to puppet somebody else's life. Could have to do with uh, children in your life. Um, but it doesn't have to be. This could just be trying to control a situation, a person, uh, or persons in your life. And there may be some things that you, you know, try to relinquish, relinquish control over and let go. But there's still, you know, other things that you need to work on. Um, and stop trying to control everybody else and, you know, focus on yourself. So that's the overall energy of the reading. What I'm getting, uh, Leo, is that you may be uh, rushing in uh, to a situation or uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, you may not be so trusting. You may be heavily guarded uh, and you may even be jumping to conclusions about certain things. There could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius in your environment. Um, or it could also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? It doesn't have to be, but this may be just the energy that you're, um, picking up right now. Um, reading from the page, oh, sorry, the Knight of Wands, okay? So, uh, you may be making some moves if you haven't already made a move, an uh, actual physical move. Um, uh, some of you are. If you have not, you probably will, um... Just getting ready to make some changes in your life. Some cycles have happened in your life. Some of them may be ending. Um, and you need to hold on hold on to your spirituality during this time. You got the world card. There could be a Capricorn in your environment. It doesn't have to be. Okay, but there's some things that you probably don't need to reveal at this time. You probably don't want to reveal everything put it all out there there's some things you need to keep to yourself there may be someone uh watching you maybe over the internet um um i want to say in work um but you may be being watched in a sense the way people may be watching you admiring what you're doing uh, some type of recognition um for, you know, a job well done. So, that may be happening. I also see there may be a Sagittarius in your environment. Uh, doesn't have to be. You may be just taking on this energy. What's happening uh, is that you probably balancing out your emotions, okay? Uh, you may need to get away or have been getting away or thinking about getting away. Or in your heart, you know you need to get away. Again, this is going back to some type of move. Um, but you probably need to get away by yourself to, uh, balance your emotions, uh, figure out what's been going on in your life and just have a sense of peace about it in your mind and in your heart space, um, and, and use this time to tap into your spirituality, you know, so it can just take you to new heights. You may have been letting go of a lot of burdens, so to speak. Um, and in this sense, you have been rel relinquishing, oh my gosh, relinquishing control, okay? So, you know, it, you may have went through a burden sometime, you felt like you were doing everything on your own, holding on to it, and, you know, but I feel at this time you, you are letting things go, and again, you may be moving on, whether this is a physical move, uh, location, whether it's home or 
business um, or even in a relationship, there, there, there may be a moving on uh, process that you're going through. The advice that I have for you guys is, I pulled three cards for advice. So the first one is the Wheel of Fortune. There could be a Sagittarius in your environment. This card, Sagittarius, Jupiter card, is all about doing it big, all right? So whatever you have going on in your life right now, you want to, you know, do it big. There may be some books that you need to read, and I'm pretty sure it's more than one book. There may be even a book that you need to write, and that may be more than one book. Um, but there's some empty pages that needs to be filled and it's up to you to fill those pages. Uh, and you never know the, the, the things that you read, uh, as well as the things that you write could actually, you know, have an impact and change your will of fortune. Uh, so you may want to do that. Also, we got the Leo card, the strength card. This is your energy. You know, I did the reading for Leo's born in July and they got this card too. I love the way the energy just like floats. So both of y'all got the Leo card, which makes sense. But this card is about being compassionate. This card is about being understanding. This card is about using your enlightenment. This card is about taming your mouth. This card is about taming your lust. So, again, this is advice. So, that's what you need to do. Be compassionate. Be loving. Use your enlightenment and the knowledge that you've received, not just from the books you're going to read, uh, but just knowledge from all. Knowledge from any type of move you may do, even if it's just a um, travel trip you know where you may just go to get away for a minute vacation or get away even if it's something like that the knowledge that you learn and use during this um, time is going to give you victory you have the victory card here this is the victory card okay the six of wands leo victory is in the cards for you okay but there's a few things you need to do um to achieve this victory again hold on to your spirituality hold on to those desires and dreams that you have and stay focused on the future on where you're trying to go you know don't <laughs> don't be focused on the past the past is the past you got to learn from that and be Fully focus, what they call that, that when you, that's all you think about. All you think about is a victory. All you think about is future and where you're going. There may be some people in your life that, you know, may not be happy with the changes you may be making or the moves you're making. And they may act like they with you. Like they with you. They down with you. But they might not be happy like they portray to be happy for you. Okay? But it don't matter because sometimes... You got to ride your own horse, just like in the Six of Wands. And ain't nobody riding this horse with this person. They riding into victory on their own. Okay? So, victory is here. But you got to be focused on the future. You got to use your dreams and your goals. Not just holding on to them, but putting action to them. You got to tap into your spirituality. And you need to continue to be loving and compassionate and understanding and taming your mouth. Yes, Leo. I will repeat that. Taming your mouth. Okay. Taming your lust. Taming your desires uh, to get the victory that you receive. And remember, you're supposed to be relinquishing control. So you're relinquishing control over the past. You're relinquishing the control over things and people you don't trust. You can't do anything about that. So, I'm just looking over the cards one last time to see if there's any, you know, any more messages that I need to get. Um, you know, even you guys, if you're planning on a move, um, even if it, again, if it's a move, a physical move to a home or location, um, uh, even if it's a getaway or even if it's a move for a job, 
Um, you might even need to relinquish control over that. Some people want to be just, they want every detail lined up. We're going to do this, this, at this time. You know, just release the control and enjoy life. Stop stressing yourself out with the details, especially details involving other people. Like, focus on you. Focus on you. Control you. Stop trying to control everybody else and control you. How about that? So, get your peace back. Get your balance back. Tap into your spirituality. And again, you may do, you, you know, you may be traveling or visiting. I don't, some type of move is going on and it might even involve going back somewhere back to the past back where you came from something like that but remember when even if that happens you can be you can be gentle with the situation okay you don't have to be all riled up um because growth is about to take place if it if it hasn't already Okay, but the growth starts within you. It starts with how you treat yourself and how you treat other people. Okay, and you can't control everything, Leo. You cannot stop. Just stop doing that. That way you can get the true victory. Um, that's coming for you. And I see victory here in two of the cards. Um, but they both point to you what's happening to your spirituality. Being present in the moment, but also focusing on the future. Okay. So there is victory here for you, Leo. Just do what needs to be done. Stop trying to control people in situations. Just let things be and unfold because ultimately you can only control you. Okay. And if you come across a situation that you cannot control, life will go on. You will not die. Okay. So just come to peace and come to terms with um, knowing that you can only control your emotions. So th that's what you need to work on. That's what you need to control. That is what you need to balance as well as your spirituality and get as much knowledge as you can get. Read those books. Write those books. And move on to your victory. So Leo, thank you for joining me. This is what your soul needed to hear. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, or share. And I'm on Instagram now as Universal Energy. So thank you for joining me. Share some love. Share some light. Enjoy your life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy New Decade.